everyone welcome to my channel my name's Lee you're watching dark roots creations and this is my Aurelium autumn equinox challenge wrap-up <laughs> Okay, so because I had planned on doing anything I want August, I didn't realize that the Magical Readathon would be coming up so quickly, yet here it is, so I had to work around it. So my plan was to challenge myself on the first seven days of August to finish my Autumn Equinox syllabus for the Magical Readathon. So I think I did pretty good. My plan here was to use short books, very short books, to get the prompts done and it worked. I didn't like everything I read, but since it was short, it didn't matter too much. So let me go over what I read, what I got done and how I did on this challenge. Okay, so first up is Alchemy. For this one, I needed to get to Distinguish, which means I needed to read three books. So for the first one, I had Outstanding. That was a book on someone's worst list that you think you might like. Cozy Rowe from Killing Time with Cozies was nice enough to recommend the Cooper Sister series to me. This is a cozy mystery series. The first one is Chicken Fried Homicide, and this is by Willow Monroe. For this one, I gave it two stars. It was okay. It came in at like 59 pages, so wasn't too bad. This is about two sisters who live in Kentucky and own a chicken farm in apparently have to solve mysteries. <laughs> Next was Qualified, read, and read a book with orange on the cover. For this one, I did Pumpkin Spice and A Body on Ice, also by Willow Monroe, and this is from her Dixie Cup Diner series. I gave this one three stars. This is about a woman who owns a diner in Virginia, and again, cozy mystery series, so she's solving crimes. I gave this one three stars. I liked this series a lot better and I probably will continue on with this series. This also came in at uh, 95 pages, so that worked out well. And for Distinguished, I had to read a book with a one word title. Uh, this wouldn't have been that difficult except I was looking for something very short. So I wound up reading Ruined by Ali Spooner. This was about a, I guess you could say, retired female warrior and a, um, a servant of the war who, the war is now over, so they kind of teamed up on a journey together and their relationship along the way. I really enjoyed this one for being, um, I think it was 61 pages. This really packed a lot into it and I gave this one four stars. Okay, so I finished all of my alchemy, I got my distinguished, and I can move on to next year. Next up is spells and incantations. I need to get a qualified, which means I need to read two books. So for the first prompt, I had to spin a color wheel and then read a book with a matching color cover. For this one, I went back to the Willow Monroe Cooper Sister series and I read book two in the series and that was Free Range Danger. I gave this one a one star, didn't care for it at all, couldn't really tell you the plot of the story, will not be continuing anything in this series, and luckily at, oh, I think that was 82 pages, I didn't have to put a lot of effort into this one, so don't care, it qualified and checked off for me. Next is the qualified prompt, which is to read a book off of someone else's TBR. There is a book coming out toward the end of the month on the 23rd called Peanut Butter Panic by Amanda Flower. This is part of her Amish Candy series and I know a ton of people have this on their TBRs for this month. So when that comes out, I will be reading it. This spoiler is the only prompt I did not get done for my syllabus, but I will by the end of the semester. Next is Artificery. I only needed Outstanding, which is one prompt, and this is a book featuring artificial intelligence. This is so not up my alley. I actually did read a book the past month, uh, The Passengers by John Mars. I wish I had read it for this because I actually love that book. So it didn't work out that way though. So for this one, I read um, a book by 
by Brandon Sanderson and Mary Robinette Kowal, and this was the original. It was an Audible exclusive, 196 pages. This is about a woman who commits a crime. They kind of clone her, and then her clone has to go find her and kill her. That's the short gist of it. Um, I gave this two stars. I didn't really care for it, especially the very like open-ended ending, and I didn't like that. So two stars for me. Also my first uh, book by both, either one of these authors, and I did have reading Brandon Sanderson on my goals for this year, so I'm glad I read it, but I don't know if I will be continuing with any more of his stuff. And next is Inscription. I needed Qualified for this, which means I needed to read two books. And the first prompt for Outstanding is a childhood favorite. For this one, I went naturally to the Babysitter's Club and I read Boy Crazy Stacy by Anna Martin. In this one, Stacy and one of the other babysitters spend a week or two down at the Jersey Shore um, being mother's helpers for a family with eight children. I gave this one three stars. I mean, if I was a kid, I probably gave it five, but now I'm giving them three because it's just like they're good. They're the feel good comfort reads for me. And for qualified, it was read a graphic novel, comic or manga. Again, I went back to The Babysitter's Club by Anna Martin and I read the graphic novel for Claudia and the New Girl. Again, I gave this one three stars. And in this one, Claudia, who's very artistic, meets a new girl who is also an artist and they get along really well. And the new girl, Ashley, makes Claudia feel very special for being an artist and Claudia really loves that. So that's it for the actual like Autumn Equinox syllabus. Like I said, I only have one book left. I know I'm gonna easily get that one done this month. Other than that, there are also about seven or eight side quests where you can get like reputation points and also uh, points toward your guild. So that's probably what I'm gonna be working on next. I have a few short ones. Thank you to everybody who picked the historical fiction for me. I definitely appreciate it. Um, and a couple other recommendations I got for some of the other prompts. So I'm going to probably spend the rest of the month trying to incorporate those in as I complete the rest of my Anything I Want August. Anyway, if any of you are participating in the Magical Readathon, I would love to know how you're doing so far. Did you have, how many prompts did you have? I had eight total I had to do. So I'm curious if you got stuck with a lot more or you got off easy and got a lot less. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.